Uh, they had us on our heels all game, just playing with force, playing with speed, playing with physicality, and uh, we, we were lacking in all of all of those areas for, for pretty much the whole game. So, hey, how, so how do you kind of address that with the team? What's the what kind of focus to to kind of get all of those things in order? Uh, we show it on film, talk about it, get on the floor and work on it, and that's what we did today in practice. Hey, Willie, y'all have had a 49 win season, really good season, but how much of these next two wins define, I mean, next two wins, next two games define, I mean, this next, this week, how much does this guy kind of define? You? Yeah, we, 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 we had a good regular season. Um, we put ourselves in a, in a really good spot, but we got a couple cracks at it to, to be a playoff team. So uh, we like where we are, and um, that's what our focus is on, is kind of turning the page, being honest about what happened, disappointing loss on our home floor, now we got to regroup and get back after. It. How did uh, Brandon respond to you coming off that, that long layoff of play? Was he able to practice today and do everything? Yeah. He, he was. He was good. Body felt good today, so he had a full practice. And do you anticipate tomorrow it's like free go basically for him? I, I definitely anticipate his minutes going up tomorrow. Is it is it hard, um, you know, even a, a player as good as Brandon to just like bring back a new piece after two weeks or anything like that? Yeah, you know, there's some adjustments to it. Um, we had that home stretch where we really needed them, and we need them at any time. Uh, but then you kind of make some adjustments, figure it out uh, without having them, and then you get them back. You got to make some more adjustments, and he's a huge part of what we do. And so that's 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 what we're doing now is, is talking about our rotations, how to get Bi back on the floor, and get him play, get him up to speed. Well, y'all done y'all's best when your back is against the wall. It seems like how confident are you in you know what? What's ahead? I'm extremely confident in this group. You know, we've been in these situations before, um, but it's not about me getting up here and talking about it. We got to go out and do it. What's your feeling on just some of these disappointing losses at home and what y'all have to do to address just playing better, you know, in front of the home crowd? Just that. You know, we got to bring it. No excuses. We're on our home floor. Um, it should be an advantage for us, and we got to step on the floor and bring it as a group. How important is it to get something going early in these games to keep the crowd in the game? Well, it's, it's about playing hard for 48 minutes for us. Playing hard, playing together, playing our style for 48 minutes. When we do that, we give ourselves an opportunity to win the game. LeBron, last night, he got in the paint a lot, and they got yeah. in the paint a lot. Yeah. Is that the biggest adjustment that kind of has to be had? As far yeah, as that's, keeping that's one of them. You know, they, they, they were in our paint all, all night long. 68 points in the paint is too many. And... They got easy baskets, miscommunications defensively. It starts with that for us. That's our foundation, so we have to be better in those areas. Will you cover the pick and roll differently, Coach? We will. You'll go, you'll go over more? We'll, we'll mix it up, but we definitely, we, we definitely will mix up our coverages on pick and rolls. You think that was a – I mean, it, was, it, it looked, just looked like they got it whenever they wanted it. They did. They did. Lack of physicality on our part. Um, kind of in no man's land as far as our rotation. So we, we, we talked about it, showed it on film today, and worked on cleaning it up for tomorrow night's game. A couple of situations there, LeBron was just, it was almost like he was putting a block on guys to free Reeves up. You got to do something about that, right? Excuse me? As far as like the, the pick and roll, it looked yeah. like a couple of times LeBron was just planting on guys. And yeah, he was. he was. He was. He's, he's doing a great job of setting screens, but that's a situation where it's a red for us, no matter who's on him, and then we can get to LeBron if he decides to post up smaller guys. The day after, how the day after this loss compared to the day after the IST loss? Because obviously you guys bounced back pretty well after the loss in the in-season tournament. I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. Wait, how does the day after this loss compared to the day after from the Las Vegas in-season tournament? Because you guys obviously bounced back really well from both of them are, are tough. It's anytime you lose uh, a game, you know, you, you go home. I go home and evaluate what, what could I do better? How can I put our team in a better possible position? Our players are doing the same. We come back the next day and, you know, you live to fight another day and try to get better, and that's where we are today. You guys have found a level of comfort playing smaller these past couple weeks with AD and LeBron. Do you think that forces you to play a little bit bigger, or do you kind of have to lean into what you've done well lately? You know, we got to keep looking at it. You know, they, they definitely present a challenge with being as big as they are and, you know, going for offensive rebounds. I thought we did a good job rebounding the ball. We can be better, but, you know, we'll keep looking at groups that we can be successful. Sometimes that's big. It may be some moments where we can play small. Hey, Billy, um, you know, 
obviously Z was drafted five years ago and you've been coached for three years and he's finally available for a postseason game. Could you speak to the significance given the kind of shape he's gotten in, how he's played and, and for the team in general, the, the significance of this moment for him and how you want him to handle it? Yeah, we, we're all extremely proud that Z has this, this opportunity and our team has this opportunity. Uh, he's worked his tail off, our team has worked their tail off to put ourselves in, in a position to play in the postseason and have a playoff berth. And so, like you said, his first his first time being able to experience this is a major step. Well, Willie, yesterday, Z told us in post game that he was a little too passive. He thought he could have been more active. What did you see and what would you want to see from him? He's right. Um, he, he has a good feel for the game. He has a feel for when he can be aggressive, when he needs to be more of a connector. and. The last four games, he was doing a great job of mixing it up. And throughout the course of the game, he would find seams to be able to attack. And so we just got to get back to that. Any explanation, Coach, for the road home differential? I mean, you know, it's just like when you get away from here, it seems like you're a whole different team. No explanation for it. Uh, I choose to focus on the positives, is that we had a winning road record and a winning home record. And so now, None of that matters. It's about just trying to get the next win. It but, didn't happen the way you wanted it to on Sunday, getting into the postseason that way. But you still have a huge opportunity in front of you, an improvement from the season before. What does that say about what this team has done this season? Uh, it says a lot. It says that we're moving in the right direction. We're steadily improving. And, um, you know, those are, are major positives. It's hard to focus on that right now because our whole attention is on preparing for the next game. But when you step back and look at it as a whole, you can see that we're getting better and better. Did you ever think that 49 wins <laughs> wouldn't get you in the top six? I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? I, I, I didn't. I mean, if you would have you would have asked me going into the season before the season started, we'll be 49 and 33, right? 49 and 33 to, for, for the regular season. I think we all would take it. Figuring that that's going to secure a playoff spot. But the West was tough this season. And um, this is where we are, and, you know, we'll go after it. I know this is a turn-the-page league, but how easy do you think that will be in the space of 48 hours to just, like, say, okay, Sunday happened, we're just going to move on and not worry about it? Or is, there a little, is it a little more difficult than it might appear? It's definitely difficult. It's not, it is not easy to turn the page. Uh, you play back. You, you play it all back in your mind, uh, but you know that's what you have to do. And that's why we're in these positions, is because year in and year out from the time we've been playing, we've been able to do it. And in this league, you have to be able to turn the page quickly because there's a ton of games, and we're grateful to have this opportunity. So it's our mindset. We got to turn the page. We looked at it. We were honest about it. We worked on it. We'll come back, have a good shoot around, get ready to go back after it tomorrow night. How do you explain the first five or 10 minutes knowing the relevance of the game. Any any thought on on how that could happen? Yeah, I got I have thoughts on it and uh, beliefs on why it happened. But at the end of the day, nobody wants to hear those excuses. It's we got to get it done. Thank you, Coach. One more follow up on Z. Um, given all the games he had to miss from injuries the first four years, it seemed like he might have been more like a in terms of growing into the league, a second or third year player, which you often see have a lot of growth. I was wondering, did you see significant growth from him in certain areas of his game this year that you hope will uh, really you know, pay off in the postseason? I have. I've seen significant growth from, from Z on and off the floor. On the floor, um, his ability to continue to work at his conditioning, to stack his days, working on his game, uh, his, his ability to be able to read the game throughout the course of the game and see what teams are doing to him. Uh, sometimes they're packing the paint. He gets off the ball, tremendous passer. And then his defense, he, he's taking another step this year defensively, guarding the ball, being in the right positions, rebounding. So definitely seeing a ton of growth in him. If I, if I can ask one more, I know, I know you always respect the Lakers, but do you think sometimes a young team maybe has a little too much respect for those guys? It can happen. It can happen, definitely. but. This is not the time that you, you, you got to respect your opponent, but not too much respect. So we respect them. We, we know what they are and we know they're a good team, but so are we. And, you know, we'll have a healthy respect. But once we get on the floor, all bets are off.